Oh, happening right now in Greensboro. East Gate City Boulevard is closed in both directions between Severe Street and High Street due to a crash involving downed power lines. Fox 8's Lauren Crawford is live there on the scene with more this morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Drivers will want to avoid this area as it's expected to have a pretty major impact. Again, this is the area of Eastgate City Boulevard and Bennett Street, that intersection right there. I want to step out of the way and show you just how bad we're getting a first look. Again, we just got on scene moments ago, but you can see that car rammed into the power lines. You know, this is causing the whole Eastgate City Boulevard as well as Bennett Street. You know, those power lines are down, the stop lines aren't working, and this is expected to close several roads in this area in several directions. Um, Greensboro police are waiting for Duke Energy crews to arrive and start the repair. So it's likely this could be shut down well into rush hour and possibly longer this morning. This crash caused a few dozen power outages too. Duke Energy's outage map is showing roughly 40 outages at last check. We are close to a residential area as well as you can see a church and a Bennett College, Bennett Middle School and Washington Montessori Elementary. We are working to get in touch with Guilford County Schools to learn if these outages are impacting any of their buildings at all. And if so, if there will be delays. But of course, you can see out here um, if you can. I know it's not much light, hence the power outages, but a pretty major crash right here. I did talk to Greensboro police to see if anybody was injured and they tell me that they don't have when they arrived on scene that there wasn't any drivers here. So they possibly ran into these um, power lines and then took off. So we are working to learn more information, but so far no injuries have been reported, at least from Greensboro police. Um, online, Duke Energy's power outage map showed that the estimated time for restoration is about 10 o'clock in the morning, but obviously that could change. And of course, we'll keep you updated out here as traffic picks up and we learn more information. Live in Greensboro this morning, Lauren Crawford, Fox 8 News.